Hello, this is Seth from MindForge Technologies, and in this little video, I'm going to show you the benefits of using add ons to enhance your World of Warcraft experience. So, I've created a level 1 orc rogue to just kind of run around and check out the user interface and just show you what the basic interface looks like. On the top left of the screen you've got your character portrait with your health bar. Your mini map is in the top right. Your action bar is down at the bottom with some information there. Uh, you hit B to open your bag so you can see the bag frame there. And you've got the chat frame in the bottom left. So there's not a whole lot of information available here. Um, just some very basic things. So we're going to spice up the interface a little bit and give ourselves some access to a lot more information that will help us uh, get through the game a little bit easier. So we'll go to curse.com which hosts a lot of add-ons and things and we'll go to the client page. Now the curse client allows you to easily download and manage your add-ons through one program and it'll tell you when your add-ons are out of date and everything it's really convenient so I've already downloaded it so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up now bolded add-ons mean that there's an update and you can see here right on the opening page is a list of all the add-ons that we have so we scroll back up um, we can just look through it if we hit refresh it'll re-scan all the add-ons in your add-ons folder and make sure there are things up to date. If you want to update one, you just click on it and click the update button. And if you see in the bottom right there, it'll show you that it's downloading. And it will then extract the add-on into your add-ons folder and take care of it for you. So all you have to do is just click update. You don't have to do anything else. If you want to get a new add-on, you just click the find an add-on tab, type in the search box, and in this case I'm going to get an add-on called examiner it allows me to inspect people and see a lot more about them so I click it click install and now in the bottom right it will download the add-on for me and once that finishes then it will move on to the extraction process it'll open it up put it in the proper folder and set it up for me and it's already done so then if we go back to the your add-ons tab. We can see that it's there and it's got a little note next to it that shows that it was recently updated and I'm going to go ahead and update one of my other add-ons that's out of date so we can see the download process again and it's, it's fairly obvious that this is a, a very easy to use tool you just click in what you need and you click on what you want to do with it. So we'll close that down and we'll go back in game. Once you're in game, just click on the add-ons button in the bottom left corner of your character selection screen and it will bring up a list of all the add-ons that you have installed. And what this will allow you to do is to activate or deactivate certain add-ons for different characters if, for instance, you download add-ons that are specifically designed for a certain class. Alright, now that we're back in game, we can see that the interface looks pretty much the same. Although, if you uh, look up at the top, we have a new experience add-on that tells us a lot more information about our leveling pace, how much experience we have left, etc. Uh, we also have a new bag add-on, and if you hit B, you can open up your new bag non, and that will show you a lot more information about your inventory and your different characters. So I can look at the bags of my alternate characters, for instance, bank alts or something of that sort. So if I think that another character of mine has an item, I can just check without having to log onto the character. You can also look at how much gold I have on all my characters. And this is all a function of this add-on that I installed through the, the Curse Add-on Manager. So now I'll run over and start a little bit of combat so you can see a scrolling battle text add-on that I put on and you can see a little dodge appear on the left there that moves around and when I do damage or take damage it pops up in a nice little scrolling text that moves 
slowly and cleanly above my character so I can see a lot more of what's going on in the fight without having to open up my combat log. Now that I've killed a few things, I can use my add-on called Recount, which is the window on the bottom right, to look at some breakdowns of my damage. So if I click on that, I can see a pie chart to see how much of my damage is done by each of my abilities. And if I click on a specific ability, I can see how many hits I had, how many crits I had. Uh, it'll also show misses, dodges, resists, parries, absorbs, everything you need to know. And using this information can help you itemize your character properly so that if, for instance, you're missing a lot, you can look for gear that helps you increase your chance to hit. So Recount is a really nice add-on that can give you a lot of information that will help you be a lot more successful with your character. So now to finish off the tutorial, I'm going to show you what a fully-fledged UI looks like that's been decked out here. Um, you can see I've still got Bagnon. And I also have an add-on on here called x -Pearl Unit Frames that allows me to move the unit frames around. So instead of having the portrait in the top left, it's right there in the middle left of the screen. My target is now in the middle right area. I can see all of my teammates in the bottom right, and they become faded when they're out of healing range, so I can see who I can heal. Um, I also have the ability to manipulate my action bars with an add-on called Bartender. And so as you can see, I have a lot more buttons that I can put things onto. Um, I've got a, a, a map add-on called Carbonite that can show me a lot more information than the standard World of Warcraft map has to offer. And here you can see this, this uh, user interface in action during combat. Uh, there's the scrolling battle text that pops up, so if I'm getting hit by a lot of things at once, I can see status effects and things come up. Uh, you can see people taking damage that are illuminated in red in the bottom right. I still have recount in the bottom right, and I even have things like timers on the right side there that show me when certain events are happening. In this case, when my opposing faction is taking graveyards or towers in a battleground type of scenario. So that was the quick tutorial on add-ons for World of Warcraft. Hopefully you found it helpful. And I'll be putting a list of the add-ons used in this video in the description for this on YouTube. So look in there if you want to know all the things you're seeing on the screen. And once again, this was Seth from Mindforge Technologies, and thanks for watching.